Okay, my basic go up. Hey guys, it's Zoe, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a back to school haul. This is basically an excuse for me to talk about stationery and cry a little bit about going back to school. I am going to be a senior in high school this year. I start on August the 16th, and I have a couple different videos planned for the next couple of weeks, so make sure to subscribe if you are new because I will have lots of back to school tips coming for you guys. I feel like I've learned a lot in my experience in high school. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off by showing you guys my favorite writing utensils and the ones I've purchased this year. Every year I feel like I buy pretty much the same thing now and I just use it all up throughout the year so it works out pretty well. Um, I still have a few things left over from last year so I don't like have a massive massive haul but I think it's good to reuse, make sure to reuse, buy things that you can reuse. I have my absolute favorite pens. I use these Pilot G207 pens basically for everything. I'll take notes using Muji gel ink pens but I need to buy any new ones because I got a big pack at the end of last year. But I do use those but these ones are like usually my go-to whenever I'm writing essays and stuff for tests. This is what I use so these are pretty ones too. These have like flower patterns on them, and I like these. Next I have Papermate um, mechanical pencils, I'm pretty sure everybody uses these. I've been using these since I was in like 5th grade. They work well. Then to go with that, um, I actually bought some lead. Normally I don't buy lead because I had so much lead and I seem to have used it all, finally. So I went ahead and bought some, this is just 0.7 Pentel. I also got these Sharpie Clear View Highlighters, I've been using these since freshman year. I just use these up so quickly because I highlight in my book. If you buy your books and you can highlight, then make sure you do, it helps so much. I will color coordinate these things and make it really easy for me to see. Then I also got this tiny little stapler. I cannot tell you the number of times that I've needed a stapler and I just like don't have one anywhere. I have to like search my house to find something that I can use to hold my things together until I can get to a stapler. So I bought a stapler. Now on to like notebooks and paper and stuff. First of all I bought some index cards. I haven't really used index cards in the past few years but one of the classes that I'm taking this year, the teacher really likes you to handwrite your um, flashcards instead of using like Quizlet or something. Then I have lots of paper. It makes me sad that I use this much paper every year, but what are you gonna do? So I first of all have just 80 sheets of this graph paper. I use so much graph paper. It's crazy. Um, my math teacher, we get a lot of homework and I'm taking AP Calculus this year, so your girl got a lot of paper. I also got five star double the strength um, notebook paper. This is college ruled. I used this last year. The holes are um, are triangles. Oh my goodness, <laughs> shapes. Next, I got two composition notebooks. One of them is kind of a cute one, colorful. This is from Mead. It's college ruled, hundred sheets. It's cute. I like the colors. It's very beachy. And then I got just normal black speckled one as well. I always seem to need composition notebooks. We hardly ever use them, but my teacher's always like in the beginning of the day, like, you need one. Just leave it in the classroom. And so I always buy some. I buy like a cute one for the classes I know I'm going to use. And this one for the ones that I know I'm not actually going to use it in. <laughs> then I got a whole bunch of five star notebooks i like five star the most this is not sponsored i wish it was but i literally buy everything five star i have two just like one subject 100 sheet notebooks and then i have two that are 170 sheets i probably won't need all of these um i started using this one for my AP environmental science class i've been taking some notes in here <laughs> I will probably choose which ones I actually want to use, so I don't really need all of these because this is a lot and I don't like carrying around a lot of stuff. Now onto folders. So I bought just two folders.
folders this year. Um, I've been using the same folders since I was I like started high school, and two of them kind of broke last year, so I decided to buy some new ones. So I have two of them here, and then I am going to do another video on like how I organize myself for school. So make sure you stay tuned for that if you are interested. Next, I have this two-inch purple binder. I need this for my calculus class. She gives us lots of notes. And then another purple folder. I have this expandable file folder. I don't actually really use this for school. I will just put my stuff in it once I no longer need it. And I have like a whole bunch of these from like every year. So this is actually going to hold all of my stuff from last year so I can reuse my school supplies. Now, the two things that I am most excited about for this haul, which is basically the whole reason why I did this video, so I could look kind of hipster. <laughs> First of all, I got a mini Kanken backpack. I didn't get the big size, and I probably won't even use this for school, but it's so cute, and I can't wait to use it just in general. It'll be nice to like bring little things to different events. I like it, and I'm going to be using it actually next week when I go to Disney World because it's like the perfect size to hold my camera. The color of this is frost green, I believe. So yeah, the texture of like the material that they use is so good, and even though it's really expensive, I think it'll be a good purchase. I hope. And then finally, I got a new planner. So you guys know if you've been watching my channel, I use a bullet journal, but like I said, I'm gonna be in my senior year, and I just feel like. I need to have more structure in my planner, like farther out than I do in my bullet journal. And a lot of the times in my bullet journal, I just get really swamped in schoolwork, and then I don't have time to like plan out my week every week and like do the drawings for it because I just need to like jot something down, and then I don't, and so it just kind of goes everywhere. So I decided to go ahead and try this Hobonichi Teco 2018 Cousin. I'm going to be talking about it in a video that will be coming soon, but I think this will work really well for me because it gives me a lot of space and a lot of flexibility and also um, a structure that I need. So I'm excited to try using this. That was my back to school haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know when you go back to school in the comments below because I'm definitely interested. I love hearing about it. Like some people go back like super late, like September, the middle of September, and I'm here like going back in like two weeks and I'm like I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like if you did and subscribe if you're new and leave a comment below and I will see you next time bye Ooh, such a trek